Hey, good afternoon, viewers of the tube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain. And if you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and click the ring bell to be alerted of a new Chico video right when it drops. So today we are going to be looking into a current NEP5 token who has been moving swiftly on their platform, reaching roadmap milestones, delivering an excellent DApp game experience, providing multiple ways to earn passive income, and they have their main chain released just around the corner, August 31st. Who is this project? The project is Zpin, their flagship game, Crypto Galaxy, as well as their distributed storage network called the Glala Cloud and their main chain, Zpin Chain. Today, I would like to dive into and break down the game and how you can earn passive income, not only through the Crypto Galaxy game, but also through the Gala Cloud. First, let's do a quick breakdown of what exactly Zpin is and what it has to offer. So a high level view of what Zpin is, is a distributed economy for the creative industries. Artists, writers, designers, architects, and even performers will be able to utilize the platform to help grow themselves or the business they are a part of. Through a suite of tools and dApps, users will be able to build trust among multiple parties, where smart contracts and authorizations will distribute profits according to their agreement and smart contract. Zpin will protect the copyrights of your creative assets by having that information stored on the blockchain. You will also be able to form global creative teams to build amazing things. Through a roadmap stop Z crew, you'll be able to form these global creative teams through a new trust system built on digital identities. Also, the blockchain will provide transparency, which will attract more funding for projects built on the Zpin platform. So let's now get into the flagship game from some of the creatives at Zpin, Crypto Galaxy. Crypto Galaxy is the world's first virtual universe powered by blockchain technology. Crypto Galaxy takes users into a virtual mining experience where they can set out on a journey and use a mining spaceship called a Galabot to dig minerals on the planets in game. Those minerals can then be converted into Gala, a cryptic currency that powers the entire Crypto Galaxy universe as well as the Gala cloud, which we'll get into later. So every week, a new batch of about 40 planets is released and available for purchase in exchange for Gala tokens. So if you'd like to download the game, type CryptoGalaxy.1 in your phone's web browser. Click on your operating system, iOS or Android. With iOS, after the app is downloaded to your home screen, go to settings, then to general, then to device management and click trust this app for Crypto Galaxy and the app should work. For Android, just make sure in your settings to trust downloads from unknown sources when that screen pops up, and it should download no problem. Once downloaded, open the app and the first step will be to register for the game. Click register, and you will need to type in your name, a unique password, select your country, enter your email, and optional is to input your invitation code. Definitely join under Chico Crypto and let's rule the universe together. My code is 24, lowercase c, 4, uppercase g, lowercase s. Once all entered to your liking, click country to confirm. If successful, it should take you to the home signup page and your details should already be entered. The next step is to confirm your email, go to your inbox, find the confirmation email and click the link, which should take you to a success screen. Go back to the game app and then click the sign in button, which will take you to your Crypto Galaxy home screen. The home screen shows you the planets you own. As you can see, we own one planet, Crypto Love with a V. Before getting into our planet, let's check out some of the other screens. On the top right is an astronaut's helmet, which is your profile. Clicking on that will take you to your profile page, which includes the amount of gala you have, an option to deposit and withdraw the Gala, and an option to refresh your amount. Below that are three options you can click. Wallet, Settings, and Frequently Asked Questions. Let's click on Wallet. This will take you to your in-game crypto wallet, with the option to store, of course, Gala, but Zpin as well. Here is another awesome way to earn passive income with Zpin, by storing your Zpin in your crypto galaxy wallet. You will generate more Gala passively, 
which you can claim every 24 hours. Clicking on each of the assets gives you a breakdown of the total assets, as well as the option to deposit or withdraw. Withdrawals are coming soon. Clicking on the ZPIN asset, there is also a breakdown and option to withdraw or deposit. But also there is the option to claim your GALA from storing your ZPIN. Going all the way back and clicking on settings, you have the option to change your password, see the version of the game, go directly to the website, as well as join the Crypto Galaxy Telegram to get involved with other Galaxy Explorers. The last button is just the frequently asked questions, which takes you to an external FAQ. Going back to the home screen, to the right of the astronaut helmet is the option to change from your own planet's home screen to the planets you are digging on home screen. And as you can see, we're digging on the planet Galaxy, which is hosted by Zi Hufei, with a total number of diggers at 78. To the right of the option to change from own to dig is a medal you can click on, which takes you to the leaderboard and stats page. It shows you the number of planets ruled, number of explorers in the galaxy, as well as how much gala has been generated. Below that is a leaderboard based on country. It looks like China is number one. <laughs> and people say China is interested in crypto. Bullshit. Pressing back and clicking to the right of the medal on the ringer icon takes us to the Crypto Galaxy missions and notifications. On the mission tab, there you have the option to get more gala by completing tasks. Right now you can do the daily check-in each day to receive one gala, as well as generate your one-time invite code to earn one gala. And each time a person signs up under you, you receive another gala. To the right of that are notifications, which we don't have any yet. Let's now go back to the home screen and get into the meat of the game, digging on planets and earning minerals. Make sure you have the dig home screen selected. To begin digging, click on the discover button on the bottom right. This takes you to where you can discover planets to begin digging on. There are new planets which are up for sale and can be bought. There are ruled planets which are owned by other players as well as a tab for your own planets. Let's check out the new planets tab. Looks like all new planets have been conquered and the next new planet release is happening when the current block height reaches the target on the countdown timer. Clicking on the ruled tab shows us the planets in the galaxy we can mine on that are conquered as well as the planet details. Let's click on a planet. Here are the planet details broken down much further, including the planet's name, planet host, number of diggers, block it was created on, uniqueness of the planet, the number of minerals on the planet, type, and galaxy it is located in. If we want to start digging on the planet, we would just click dig. A note, mining on unsold planets, 20% of what you mine is deducted by the system. And if you mine on conquered planets, 15% of the minerals are allocated to the planet's owner. We are now taken to our robot selection screen. You will only have the Galabot to begin, so click Start Working to begin mining operations on that planet. A success screen will pop up, and click OK, which will bring you back to your Galaxy home screen, but with the Dig tab selected. This tab shows you the planet you are digging on. On the left hand side is the number of Gala assets you own, the planet's host or owner, and the number of diggers on the planet. On the right side of the planet is the minerals you have mined, as well as the Galabot that is mining on the planet. As you can see, the regular Galabot is the one we have mining on this planet. Since we have more than just one Galabot, we can dig on multiple planets. To see what other planets your other robots are digging on, once you get them, just swipe left and you can see the other planet. So, some time has gone by and we can now earn what we have mined. To get your minerals, you have to click on the glowing orb around the planet. Clicking it will fill up one of the minerals on the right side. Sweet, we now have some minerals. The next step is to actually sell those minerals for the currency of the galaxy, Gala. To do this, we need to go to the Galaxy EX, which can be found with the red button on the bottom of the home screen. The three minerals are Glore, which is gray, Beryl, which is green, and Sapphire, which is blue. You will only have Glore, so click that one, and it shows you the exchange rate of 100 Glore equals 7 Gala. Click the green exchange button, and an exchange pop-up will pop up. 
Use the slider to fill it up all the way and it will show you the amount of Gala you will receive. Click OK to sell your Glor. Once you get other robots to mine the other minerals, you can exchange both Beryl and Sapphire. And it looks like there will be more minerals coming in the future. Nice. So let's now just go back to the home screen. I would now like to show you regarding the app is the selection of different robots. Click the yellow button at the bottom of the home screen to be taken to your robot hub. The first one that pops up is the Galabot, which we own. It shows you its level as well as its mining capacity, which is 30 minerals before it needs emptied. The Galabot can only dig for Glore. Below your robot is what planet it is digging on and you have the option to stop its work from inside here. Below that is the future upgrades of being able to level up and improve your Galabot. Clicking on the right arrow takes us to the Grubber. To purchase, you need 160 Gala tokens, and this bot mines a rarer mineral barrel. The Grubber has a mining capacity of 15 minerals before it needs emptied. Clicking right once more takes us to the Whale. The powerful robot will cost you a total of 2,500 Gala. This bot mines the rarest mineral so far, Sapphire, and it has a capacity of 10 minerals. Now, if you own the three different diggers, you can dig on three different planets simultaneously and earn much more Gala in the process. Let's now go back to the home screen and get into the really fun part. Once you own a planet, things get really interesting and the Gala you can stack starts to increase exponentially. Click on Discover once more to be taken to the Planet Hub. Click on the Own tab and we will click on the planet we own, CryptoLove. Here is a breakdown of your planet, as well as the option at the bottom to upgrade your planet. Click on Technology to be taken to the Technology Hub. You can upgrade the mineral technologies for each type of mineral. And to upgrade, you need to lock up a certain number of Z-Pin tokens. To lock up, you need the Z-Pin tokens in your Crypto Galaxy wallet already. Click on the mineral tech you would like to lock up, and a breakdown of what is increasing shows up and how long you need to lock up. Looks like we'll upgrade our Glortech. It will change the speed level from 0 to 1 and increase the mining capacity by 50 Glor minerals. If you have the ZPT, just click OK. Going back, it looks like you will be able to upgrade in decorations as well as transactions. I wonder what that means. That's the meat of version 1.5 of the Crypto Galaxy game, and version 1.6 is scheduled for the end of August which includes planet trading, galaxy exploration, support with the main chain, and more. Crypto Galaxy is a game from Zpin, but what it highlights is what can be built on top of the platform. Eventually, blockchain games like this will be developed on the platform through a combination of their dApps, creating a separate creative economy. A big piece missing from these games is a place to store the information and data, and Zpin has a big answer to that, Gala Cloud. So Gala Cloud is essentially a distributed storage network built for the ZPIN creative economy. Storage will be handled by specialized storage devices called the Gala Boxes. These boxes are designed for encrypted distributed storage of digital assets and files, and the box acts as one of the nodes on the data storage cluster. The Gala Box owners will receive 10 million Gala tokens distributed weekly among the owners based on their participation in the network. The box was actually designed by a team of the ZPIN community, BrandSky. ZPIN is doing a crowdfunding campaign for the boxes, and it's different than the normal crowdfund campaign, as you just need to lock up your ZPIN tokens, which you will get back. So it's basically like a free box. So early bird lockup round and phase one lockup is over, and you needed about 5,000 to 5,250 to lock up for 18 months. Phase 2 is running from August 16th to 20th and has the same lockup period of 18 months, but you need 5,500 ZPT to lock up. Phase 3 runs from August 21st to 25th with a lockup of 5,750 ZPIN tokens. Now, the majority of the storage is handled by the Gala boxes, but the sharding and organization of the files is handled by user-operated Gala hubs. These are basically network servers that connect different regions of the storage network together, and they make it all happen seamlessly. You need high bandwidth and an extremely stable network connection. 
You can apply to become a hub, but you need to lock up a minimum of 400,000 ZPIN tokens for 18 months. Well, viewers, ZPIN is moving on their platform fast. Main chain coming up at the end of the month. We have Crypto Galaxy version 1.6 and 1.7, as well as the Gala Cloud. Things are going to get very interesting, and I'm definitely keeping my eyes on this project. Cheers, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.